spoke to him. I've seen him in Russia. Last time I was in in Russia in in uh, Moscow, uh, okay. it's on me. I'm wow. like, no. He said yes. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. In the main event of UFC 254. The mega medal beat Justin Gagey by second round submission to defend his lightweight title. After the fight, he announced his retirement from the sport and received praise from MMA fighters including legends like George Sampier. George Sampier says he thought the fight would be a lot closer than what it was. So he was very impressed by the mega medal. Many also thought if the Dagestani champion won, it would set up a super fight between Habib and George Sampier for Habib's final fight. However, Habib Nurmagomedov retired from the sport and ends his legendary career and goes down as one of the best of all time in his career. Apart from fighting, George Sampier revealed interesting story of him regarding Habib in Moscow. Let's listen from the legend himself. When's the last time you spoke to him? Spoke to him. I've seen him in Russia. Last time I was in in Russia in, in uh, Moscow. Uh, okay. He's very nice. Uh, I was there. with tra- for to corner a training partner of mine and i was in a in a hood in a in a hotel where there were a lot of fans and he took a room he paid a room for me at the saint regis hotel he says george don't stay at this hotel there are too many fans i book you a room it's on me i'm wow. like no he said yes he said i book you the room just stay there don't don't drink alcohol because of my religion so don't don't drink alcohol because of my religion so don't don't drink alcohol because of my religion i say yeah for sure and he booked me a room that that's how how much of how much how nice of how much of a nice guy he is masha allah as we muslims all know that in islam consumption of alcohol is not allowed but also we shouldn't be paying for it or offering it to someone else So Habib paid everything from the room to the food but requested him not to drink alcohol as it's not allowed in Islam to pay for it. Masha Allah, what a man. Generous as always but strong and strict to his faith no matter what. Islam holds hospitality as a virtue that lies at the very basis of the Islamic ethical system, a concept rooted in the pre-Islamic Bedouin virtues of welcome and generosity in the harsh desert environment. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is reported to have said there's no good in the one who is not hospitable. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said take up good deeds only as much as you are able for the best deeds are those done regularly even if they are few. Small and consistent is what truly builds faith in the long term. It's what forms our habits, fills our time and in turn defines our lives and changes for the better. Brothers and sisters, whether it's pouring water into someone's glass, helping someone onto the bus, or picking up trash from the street, choose your deed. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Every act of kindness is a sadaka, charity. There are plenty of things we can do that fit this category." So that's it for today, brothers and sisters. What do you think about this video? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.